let me see. This this is this is what I'm talking about. This is the state of affairs. This is you, you know adults. This is what adults think is reality. We can see the honourable prime minister. Keep an eye on him. He he's looking at this and going for fuck's sake. This is this is cringy. This is fucking embarrassing. But uh, I need to. I'm being told that I need to uh, take this as if it's some Mr. sort of. Sri Narendra Modi ji. Oh, look at my wee fucking cartoon. Look at him. He, he's he's smirking as if as, as this one. Yeah. Yeah. Surely, surely they're more serious. But I need to sit here because I'm being told that I have to take it seriously. But surely no. Surely this, I've not to accept this as to be some sort of reality. The people in there should be asking themselves, what, why is your Prime Minister allowing funds to go to this? Again, this is a clue to tell you there's a bigger thing going on. People in India are destitute, living in fucking squalor. Millions of them. But these fuckwits think it's appropriate to kid on or go into some, you know, reference point that's a total nonsense. And they justify that and appease people by showing them this. Yeah. Oh, there's my scene for that. Way the same old actors. Let's cut to everybody looking elated and so proud and virtuous and, and clapping like fucking seals. What have they solved fucking world hunger? Have they solved the, the homeless crisis in India? And, the, and the, the poverty and the hunger in India, you know, that would be something that I would look at these people and say, yes, cheer, stand up, be fucking proud of yourselves. No, 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 no. We're showing you cartoons and look at us. Look at us professing how fucking wise and, and amazing we actually are. What's the content? What is the fruits of this endeavour? Fuck all. Nothing. People are applauding. Let us all wait to hear. A cartoon. From the Secretary, Department of Space and Chairman ISRO, Sri S. Somnath. Yes, wave the little flag. Let's drag them into patriotism. An another stupid ideology that means absolutely diddly squat other than tying you to fucking total nonsense. So while we're hoodwinking you into thinking we're going to the moon and we're all proud of it, although it benefits no fucker, we'll wave the little flag and tie everybody into some patriotic endeavour. So that nobody can question it. Oh, don't be negative. Look, we're, we're going to the moon, we're progressing. Oh, but what about we fucking uh, Afid there? He's fucking starving. He's, he's got knee ankles. He's got knee ankles and half an arm and he's fucking starving. He's got nowhere to live. Fuck, fuck him. Let's get back to you. Wave the little flag and watch the cartoons and kid on that we're fucking at the cutting edge of human existence by going to the non-entity of the vacuum of space. Lander Madul Puri Tarase. Look at him! Safely. Is this how is this how have to wave it? Is it am I doing good? Am I doing are you gonna throw me a biscuit? Am I doing well? Look, look at me waving my wee flag. Or softly, Chandrama ke sata pe land ho chuka hai. Ye ham logon ke liye bahut hi garv ki baat hai. Hindi mein ek kahawat hai ki chanda mama dur ke lekin ab hum ye keh sakte hain ki chanda mama apne ghar ke bahut hi unda the hard work of the entire isro community has come to fruition oh the hard work the, the endeavors what was the purpose what benefit would you gain out of that did it solve your farming problem no did it solve your homelessness problem or oh, the orphans are Oh, the, the handicap. No, I've never solved any of these problems. No, no, I'm still trying to, you know, could somebody please message me and tell me what the benefit of any of this is going to be to the people of fucking India or anybody else in the world for that matter? Because how many years have we had the space programme and how much has it actually benefited us? I'll tell you, fucking nothing. It's no benefit it is in any way, shape or fucking form. If you don't believe me, just go and have a look outside. Take a walk around your local estate or your local surroundings and think to yourself, hmm, is this a picture of living the dream? Are we in the God's kingdom, the valley of dreams, the fucking, oh, is this it? Is this, is this the best we can do? Huh? A little fucking shitty swing park. Well, these fucking absolute cretinous cock ends siphon money left, right and fucking centre.
आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नमस्कार सर वी हैव अचीव्ड शुड बी वॉकिंग द फॉकिंग ऑफ द मोन and public and being pointed at as fucking nothing but charlatans gullible fucking charlatans some of them are just gullible fuckwits the rest of them are just blatant charlatans no more have a wee speech about how, how the proud of ourselves we are come on yes yeah, so and next we're going to the sun hey right, is that what it is it's too warm in india so we're, we're sending rockets to the the non entity vacuum of space to the the sun ball fire thing and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to blast it with ice cubes and see if we can turn the temperature down a wee bit because because my air conditioning's no working here in india and i'm fucking sweating my bollocks off so that will benefit us go and turn the sun's heat down a wee bit could you please sir The altitude is being brought down from 800 meters. No, it's no. That's a cartoon. To congratulate India on landing on the dark side of the moon, I would also like to now invite India to return the 2.3 billion pounds foreign aid money that we sent them between 2016 and 2021. We should not be giving money to. <laughs> This is one of the best clips I've seen this entire week. A third of all children who live in extreme poverty in the world live in India. That means they are starving. And right, so a third live in India and they're starving. But we're going to fucking kid on fucking space programs. Dying of preventable disease. Preventable. About 15 months ago, my wife. Right, so why is all that funding not being appropriated for that type of thing? Eh? Yeah? Listen to that fucking cretin. India is the only country that has ever landed near the moon's. Just for the gullibles out there, I need to remind you, this is a cartoon you're watching, by the way. Don't let that influence you. I know it influences you, but what you need to do is to try and no let it influence you. You're not a child anymore, okay? You're not a gullible little child. Snap out of you. You should have, you should have grown out of these cartoons when you were six. South Pole and that's significant. Here, Let's yeah. put this in perspective here. Why is this landing so close to the moon's South Pole so significant? Well, so you may Let's put it in perspective here. Yes, let's ask some salient points, but that's no what's going to be asked. Oh, fucking dipshit the grass Tyson arsewipe's going to do here is is waffle some amount of shite and make it as if it's good for us somehow. May know that the farther away from the equator you go, the lower the sun's arc Rather. is in the sky. Okay. Until you're near the poles. The way he talks, like they all sit there like little fucking infants, and this is what gives the illusion to the onlooker, the gullible fuckwits that actually watch this stuff, that Neil some sort of god type figure. Not Neil is a fucking absolute buffoon. Right, a proponent of mysticism. A religious fucking priest. That's what he is. Telling stories. And trying to assert it as if he's got the weight of some objectiveness behind him. By citing terms like science and, and mathematics and, and astrophysics and this, that and the other. They're just all mantic statements. So that the, 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 the bewildered gullible are kept in their little fucking stupor. Neil is an absolute fucking moron. The sun just barely ambles above the horizon. Okay. If you, the, when the moon's hit by asteroids and comets, comets have water. If water lands in those places, they're called coal traps, and the water never goes away. Well, that's the key there, the water. Oh, so you're... Oh, sounds very technical and said with assurance and certainty. So it must be real. Near water and that- Oh, look at that, make the gesture on you. Mm, you're getting it now. Yes, you've got it. You've got it. Water is some transformed into fuel. Yeah, so you can drink water, yeah. but if you separate the hydrogen- Oh, so what, we need to worry about going to the moon for a while? We've not got enough water here, Neil. I mean, it's done nothing but fucking rain incessantly in Scotland for the last, I don't know, 15 years, Neil. I hardly think that we should be concerning ourselves about water in some nonsense cartoon realm that you imagine to be true, Neil. 
and the oxygen, H2O, and bring H2O. them back together, it is rocket fuel. Oh. And you know, the value of the South Pole is there may be water trapped in the bottoms of craters there. So if we're ever going to pitch tent mm -hmm. in the future yeah, with a, a colony, you want to pitch tent where you have some natural resources mm -hmm. and water would be among them. Not only huh? Huh? How, what, what, what keeps it in its form, Neil, on the vacuum of space? Huh? What keeps it in its form? Why is it not just fucking turning into vapour, Neil? In the vacuum of space? Huh? Is the moon all of a sudden now in motion, keeping it on the moon? Then the moon's now got air there and pressure to keep it pressurised, to keep it in its state of a liquid form? I mean, what are you talking about, Neil? Eh? Ah, this is what I'm talking about. Absolute fucking nonsense. It's fucking embarrassing, you're right there. Aye. Maybe that's what he's referring to. When he says moon, he actually means Scotland. This is that one man he's a detector black holes dark matter dark they're, they're telling you that their religion is mysticism they're part of the mystic religions right that's what they are black holes and dark energy and dark matter and oh this this invisible stuff makes up 95 percent of our cartoon nonsense we don't know what it is and we can't access it but it's there I mean, you have to be an infant, infantile in your mind to accept that nonsense. You really have to be.